Spinal cord stimulation is a totally implanted device that we use electrodes to produce electrical current to interrupt the pain signal from reaching the brain. Patients who are candidate for spinal cord stimulation are a patient who had spine surgery before with leg pain, also patients who had no spine surgery but had leg pain. Spinal cord stimulation therapy involves a trial period. We usually do implant the two electrodes into the epidural space or the spine. And the patient, after we implant those, take the stimulation home and try it for three or five days. If there is good improvement of 70% or more, we implant the generator five days later. The leads are implanted usually based on the location of the pain. Uh, if the patient has back pain, we have tendency to go to the mid thoracic spine. If the patient has pain in the lower back or in the leg, we usually have tendency more to do it into the lower thoracic or upper lumbar area. The generator will be placed in the buttock area. So when you have lower back pain in this red area here, we implant two electrodes that create electrical impulse into the area here of the mid-thoracic spine that interrupt the pain signal to prevent the pain from reaching the brain. And you see here that the pain is improving into the lower back area. The, the procedure usually is a minimally invasive outpatient procedure. The patient usually go home three or four hours after the procedure. The main thing that the patient should expect after the procedure is the level of pain, because this will determine if he needs to have the battery implanted or not. So if the patient have 70% improvement in the pain or more, we will implant the generator. If less, we will not proceed with the procedure. The patient can go back to his normal routine active lifestyle within six to eight weeks.